This morning on today's American Story with Bob Dotson, we go to Arlington, Massachusetts, where Bob caught up with a pair of brothers who've been confounding audiences all across the country. Anthony and Eddie Edwards are identical twins, but on stage, it's hard to tell. Sometimes one plus one equals 150. Trust me. Eddie Edwards and his twin brother Anthony have taught themselves to sing precisely like 150 of their favorite performers. Some say love, it is Bette Midler. Why aren't there so many songs about rainbows? Even this frog made of felt. If both the voice and the look is not right on, we won't do it. They do their own singing, no lip syncing. How does Elton John's voice differ in the 70s than it does say today? In the 70s, okay, he was, he had a very high, very airy, very smooth voice. When I come out from the way that he looks today, his voice is not as smooth. It's a little bit more gravelly. They notice such things because they constantly study the star's concert footage, finding new insights, like how their teeth should look. When we're on stage, that's not our teeth. You have to sing through false teeth? Yes, exactly. They've been fascinated with celebrities since they were kids, watching Laugh-In and The Carol Burnett Show. Their mom wondered why she heard the star's voices after the TV was turned off. There's no one here but us, Mom, Anthony would say. I said, no, I heard voices. Mom, that was me. And I'd say, come on. After high school, they both went their separate ways. Anthony to the police academy in San Diego. Eddie studied acting. They both continued to perform, but never made much money, until comedian Carol Burnett suggested they do what they did when they were kids, perform together. Oh, hi, Gracie. Oh, hello there, George. How are you? Gracie, I'm doing just fine. They're playing to packed houses now, but... For the first 10 years that we were in the business, we never made one dime. Because they bought exact duplicates of the star's famous costumes. Another go playing another show in Philly, Boston, or Baltimore. 200 nights a year, they lift and lug and set the lights, whip up a confection of powder and expensive wigs, stir with one part obsession and two parts talent. who turns 40 in February. At that age, Eddie is as much a magician as a singer. The leg, unbelievable. They do all this night after night because two ordinary looking guys. I got you, baby. I got you, baby can become extraordinary. Yeah! For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Arlington, Massachusetts. I can't get that sheriff talent. image out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> they were great. Yes. Wow. Won't we invite it? Pretty good for a guy, wouldn't you say? Well, it'll always 